Hey angels, welcome back. Today I have such an amazing thrift haul for you. This was a spur of the moment thrift trip that Robbie and I took just to kill some time before we went and did some other errands on our reset day. And I am beyond stoked that we decided to do that. Some of my best thrift trips end up being ones that I don't plan to try to find anything in there. And I found some gems. So I found a mix of clothing and home decor. This is one of the best home decor hauls I've had in one trip before, like ever. So I'm gonna start with the homewares first because I'm so stoked on all this stuff. So the first thing is this book. I'm trying to read more and I always love browsing the bookshelves at the thrift store. So this is called Ophelia Speaks. And I read the back of it, it sounds really good. It says adolescent girls write about their search for self. And I like skimmed through and looked at the chapters and read a few pages, sounds really good. And this will be good to pass down to a future daughter if I have one, or I can put it in the free uh, book giveaway thing at one of my favorite coffee shops. Look how freaking cute this little trinket box is. It's like this little plushy material. And I think I'm just gonna put some rings or some like, I don't know, safety pins, whatever will fit in here. It was only 89 cents. Cute little lace detail. Next I have this cute little cherub that can be hung on the wall. I'm thinking of spray, like painting it either a chrome color or a gold metallic. I'm very into metallics right now and I have a lot of home decor that I'm collecting right now on my wall that is metallic and I have a silver metallic lamp that I'm planning on putting this in here. So I think that'll be really cute. This was only a dollar and it's a nice ceramic material. This next thing Robbie found for me, and it is literally perfect because we are re-watching Desperate Housewives and he is so into it with me. It's amazing. We That's like our favorite show, I swear. And please look at this. I have to keep this for like ever until the day I die. This plaque that says Desperate Housewife on it, you gotta be kidding me. It was $3. I'm still debating on where I wanna put it. I kinda wanna put it in the kitchen, but I'm not sure yet. But. I, this couldn't be more perfect. I love some good, ironic, funny, kitschy homeware mixed with some very like elegant stuff. I don't know. Just, I love having homeware that reflects my personality. Next up is something for the kitchen. I love this, this cute little salt and pepper glass shakers with the chrome uh, top detailing. But look at the little carrier. It is a cute little wire chrome butterfly. I'm in love. It's another cherub little angel moment. It's this nice iron. I think it's supposed to be like a candle holder, but I think since I don't have a candle that'll fit in it and I couldn't find one when I was at the thrift store, I'm just gonna use it as like a pin cup or a makeup brush holder. That'd be so cute. So it's like this clear cup and I think it's actually glass. It was only $2, but that's how it looks on each side. It has a cherub angel. I got this really pretty square pink glass little vase or catch-all, whatever you need it to be. I'm thinking of what I bought it for is keeping all of my little tech equipment in there, like my microphone and the adapter for the microphone and just little things that I need for filming and doing Depop so I can just throw in one spot. And this will look so cute on my vanity as well. And it'll also be cute to like, hold flowers too. I got three candles. I got two purple ones. And then I got, also got this green one and I'll put a clip up of the candle holders I'm using for them. How freaking cool is this mirror? This gives me such Y2K, Fruitigo era type vibes. I'm in love. I have to find a perfect spot for the, this on the wall where I can take like daily selfies in it. I couldn't be happier with this purchase. Next is something I had growing up in both my mom's house and my grandmother's house, and I'm so happy I found this. I, this is everything I'm looking for also in home decor right now. Please look at these brass butterfly vines, little flower things that just go on the wall. It's a two piece. I, at first I thought it was one solid one piece, but it's two of them. So I'm thinking about having like a picture in the middle or something like that on my fireplace and then putting both of these on opposite side of that. I feel like that would be so pretty and it'd be next to my chrome lamp. And I feel like that would look so good with the gold and the silver metallic coexisting together. 
and this bundle was only 409. So I'll put up some inspo of how I wanna do a cross wall in either my bathroom or our bedroom specifically. And I'm on the hunt in starting my collection. Look how cool this cross is. It's got like this really pretty flower tile and then it's this chrome sheet metal. Like what the heck? This is one of the more expensive home decor pieces I bought, but it was only $7. Um, this is worth that for sure. This is so cool. I love a good artsy, weird cross. I have two picture frames. These are gorgeous. We're always looking for some really unique picture frames. This is some really thick glass with this flower detail on it. I'm so excited to find the perfect picture for this. I really want me and Robbie to take a pretty picture like in a field or something and like maybe super dressed up with my makeup snatched and put that in here or something. I don't know. I feel like that would be a whole vibe. This one also has like some stained glass vibes going on. Just gave me like 90s Y2K whimsy gothic vibes. Very charmed, very buffy, very Sabrina from the 90s. Then the next things we got, we got a good bundle of puzzles to start doing. I wanna start replacing a lot of the media that we consume with just doing more interactive things like that. And these puzzles we got are gorgeous and they're all like from the 2000s era or older, I'm pretty sure. This one's brand new and still has the original packaging on it. And it's this a thousand piece puzzle, how gorgeous. It's called the Japanese Garden and it's this full poster image right here. So excited to do that and then get some poster glue. We got this one to do of these classic cars. All of these puzzles were $1.09 as well. So such a steal. One that's brand new as well. It's really cool, just like bright Elvis vibe. This one might be my favorite. Um, this very Y2K vibe one with these shapes on it. Love the colors on this as well. I'm definitely I'm gonna hang this up as art. The last puzzle I got was this gorgeous little horse scenery moment too. I love. I forgot Robbie found me this right here, Madam Butterfly, in this gorgeous frame. So heavy duty, only $4. I might put this over the fireplace and then have those gold butterfly flowers on each side. I feel like that would be so gorgeous together. And then the last accessory I got, Robbie found for me, and it's actually this attachment that you can put on a countertop or a chair or whatever. And it's a tripod for your phone or camera that you can move in all kinds of crazy angles if you need to. And that's always a struggle when I'm doing vlogs and stuff like that is getting a good angle to do like cooking shots or whatever I'm doing that I might need an angle that my tripod won't do. So this was only, how much was this? $3, you gotta be kidding me. And yeah, made sure my phone works and everything. And this is just so cool to find at the thrift. I'm telling you, if you dig, you can find so much stuff you actually need in your life. I have this super cool brown cargo midi skirt, perfect for back to school, perfect for upcoming fall weather to layer with, and just perfect for spring and summer as well. Like this is such a versatile piece and I love the length of it. I think you can dress it up, dress it down, whatever you need to do. Another midi skirt that we have um, is a DKNY piece. Has this really cute little ruffle lettuce trim at the bottom with this pinstripe denim moment happening. I love this so much. Same vibes as the other one. Very academia, very fall. Could totally wear this for back to school or a night out at the club, to be honest, depending on how you style it. So I went over to the vest and found this amazing three paneled gray indie sleeves vibe, very Tumblr vibe fur vest with this little cinching tie in the back. So I am in love with this. The fur looks practically brand new. And yeah, how could you go wrong? You can wear this so many different ways. Next up are just a pair of kind of boring jeans, but they're a pair for me, brand new with tags. They were originally $50 and I got them for $8.24. I don't like usually spending that much on jeans. This is Goodwill. This is the perfect little everyday jean I was looking for. Another item y'all said that you were looking for over on my story was a button up vest, you know, like the waistcoat vibe. So I found this cute little vest over where I found the fur vest as well. It's got a very subtle pinstripe moment happening, a dark denim, and it's a plus size. 
I'm in love. Such a versatile piece, can be worn all seasons, can be worn as a shirt or layered with other stuff. Next up is a personal piece for me again. I have never been able to find a oversized type little blazer moment that fits me properly because I am a more husky plus size woman. So if I get one in the men's section that's too big, you can tell it's just a too big oversized men's blazer and not like an oversized cute woman's blazer. I don't know. You just know the vibes if you're short, stocky like me. So I finally found the perfect fit blazer. Cannot, cannot be more happy. It's Van Hussing brand. It was half off of 724. So that's an absolute steal. So I'm gonna style that with those jeans, I think, because I feel like that'd be such a very chill 90s model off duty it girl vibe and uh, i'm so excited i finally found a blazer that fits me because i can't wait to style this all fall and winter and i'm thinking about making it like my own type vibe maybe and even adding some like patchwork to it but i might just add it with safety pins so i can like do a plain moment and then do like a super punk moment with it too you know very versatile couldn't pass this one up i was just i fell in love with the color then i saw that it was corduroy then i saw that it was tommy jeans it just kept getting better and better and better so and i don't really have anything like this listed on my shop at the moment so i was like why not how gorgeous is this corduroy little mini blue skirt and then the back pockets are just so adorable. These are some of my favorite types of pockets. I love the little distressed raw hem going on. It's just so McBlain vibes and we're, we're here for that here. So my last item is a very like avant-garde piece, very funky, but I feel like you could style this in so many different ways. I am in love and it has kind of like a handkerchief, kind of asymmetrical type vibe to the hem. And then the back is all striped and then has that little middle thing going down the back. I love this. And then it has the front pockets. This would be cute with just tights, with nothing under it, with jeans, like so many different options with this piece. And I feel like this is a very much like Tumblr vibe or like punky mixed with like art deco mixed with like, I don't know. It just gives me funky and I'm here for it. Let me know in the comments what items were your favorite. I don't think I can pick one because I am just so stoked on every single piece that I got in this thrift trip. And I didn't even go in there thinking I was gonna get anything, to be honest. I went in there just to kill time. Also, let me know down below what other type of videos you wanna see from me. All of my socials are linked down below as always. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.